Welcome to the third in our Vexcode VR Python tutorials and today we're going to be looking at the magnet tool and the pen tool. So we'll start with the pen tool. Um, let me switch to Python mode, so file new text project to switch to Python mode and I'm going to open a playground uh, and I'm going to use the uh, art canvas. We're already on the art canvas, perfect. And the art canvas playground. So pen and magnet tools, let's switch to 3D and have a look. The pen is here in the middle of the robot. So this pen can be raised and lowered so it's touching the canvas or not uh, and so therefore leave a line behind the robot as it moves. And it can also be set to uh, one of four colors, black, green, red and blue. And then on the bottom of the robot um, we have a um, uh, electromagnet tool and this can be used to pick up and drop uh, discs in some of the playgrounds. So we'll start by looking at the pen tool and how to draw lines. Switch back to the top view. Um, and the commands for that are under the looks part uh, of the toolbox. So we've got two uh, commands, pen.move and that can have a parameter of either down or up and pen.set underscore pen underscore color and then a parameter which can be black, blue, green or red uh, to set it to a specific color. Um, so let's start by just drawing uh, a, a line behind the robot uh, as it goes. So um, let's say I'm going to drive forwards for 200 millimeters. This command's already there. Then I'm going to put the pen down. So that is pen.move and then in brackets we can either have up or down. So we want down to put it onto the canvas and then we'll drive another, uh, sorry, drive chain dot drive four, and we'll keep driving forwards. Let's move this playground out of the way. Forward, um, let's say 400 millimeters. Then if we want to lift the pen off the canvas, it would be pen dot move up. And then let's drive forward another 200. So drive train dot drive four forward 200 millimeters. And as I run that, we see that the robot drives forwards a bit, then puts the pen down, and then puts the pen back up. And so when the pen was on the ground, uh, it left the black line behind it. So it's set to color, uh, the black color by default. Now let's uh, make the robot uh, move in a square, and each side of the square we're gonna set to a different color. So we need to use the pen dot set underscore pen underscore, underscore color uh, command for that. So what we're going to do, is we're going to start by putting the pen down. So I'm going to move that command up to the top here, just copy and paste that up to the top. Then um, my uh, second command needs to be uh, to set it to the first color. So we're going to do um, pen dot set underscore pen underscore color and don't forget that that is the American spelling um, of color in the API like so. So set it to black uh, and then we're going to drive forwards for let's do a square with 600 millimeter sides. Um, now at this point we don't need to move the pen down so the pen down because it's already down. What we want to do is we've driven forward 600 millimeters, so we want to turn right or left, doesn't matter which. Um, but we're going to say drivetrain dot turn four, and we're going to go right for 90 degrees. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy and paste that another three times. So like so. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. So we've got black this uh, for this side. We'll change it to blue for this side. Then we'll change it to green. 
and finally red. And then once we've finished going around our square, uh, we're going to lift the pen up, so pen dot move, and this time it will be up to raise it off the canvas. And then we'll just reverse the robot away, so it'll be drive train dot drive underscore four. And we want to go reverse, and let's say we'll go 400 millimeters backwards just to get out of the way. Okay, so let's give that a go. So there's our black line, we turn right, and we have our blue line, turn right, now we have a green line, turn right, and this time a red one. We'll turn right again at the end, and now we lift the pen, so no line, and reverse away. So it's very simple, just pen up, pen down, and, uh, and set the colour. The magnet tool, it's quite similar in operation, so if you go to the uh, magnet part, of the toolbox, you can see you've got uh, magnet.energize and that can be either boost or drop. And I'm going to switch to the disk mover level. Um, and so in the disk mover level, you have these colored uh, disks on the ground that are magnetic. Um, so these three blue ones three red and three green, and we can use the uh, magnet to pick them up. So 200 millimeter grid lines on this one. So we are uh, two, four, six, 800 millimeters away from this first blue disc. So I'm gonna start by just driving forwards 800 millimeters and then reversing back to the start without powering up the electromagnet. Uh, so drive chain dot drive four, I'm going to go forwards, uh, two, four, six, eight hundred millimeters, and then we'll do exactly the same, but in reverse. So drivetrain dot drive underscore four, reverse, eight hundred millimeters. If we run that we'll see that the robot drives forward, it'll drive over this disc, but because the electromagnet is not energized, it doesn't pick it up. So what we're gonna do is before we drive off, we're gonna energize the electromagnet. So to do that, it's magnet dot energize. That's energized with a Z. And we need to change it to boost. So that means it's on, powered up, And then, just so we can see that we can uh, release it as well, what I'm going to do is at this point, so once we've returned to that starting point, we'll say magnet dot energize. But this time it will be drop. And then let's drive forwards again. just to get out of the way so we can see it. So drive forwards for 400. Millimeters. Um, okay, so we run that. And so first thing is robots, the magnet's already energized. So as we drive over that disc, it picks it up. We put it as drop and then it releases it. So very simple to use. You've only got two states, boost, uh, and drop, you can boost mode to collect discs as you drive over them and drop mode to release them as you drive over them.